How to port a mission to a new map or terrain. What's up everybody? This is Gunter Serverlo. Today I'm going to show you guys how to take an existing mission that you built or that someone else built and port it, put it on another map or terrain as we call it. Okay guys, we are on my Steam Workshop. The mission that I'm going to use for today's demonstration is my the ISIL Foothold Domazer DLC version. This mission is set on Kundunz, Afghanistan. It requires the Afghanistan map and that's what I have loaded. Let's go to the editor and I'm going to show you this mission and I'm going to show you a couple of methods on how to port a mission to a map of your choice. So let's go to the editor and we're going to choose the map Kundunz, Afghanistan. Open up the mission. My mission's at the top. The mission's actually pretty big and it has a lot of different things, it has a lot of different triggers, modules, markers, a ton of objects. It's got over a thousand something placed objects, etc. So it has a lot of stuff. Anyways, houses, etc. I'm going to show you two methods that I know of that work. So the way this works is I'm going to show you the first method. And the first method is the copy and paste method. This is very simple but there is an aspect to it that you need to know about otherwise it's not going to work how you want. First thing you want to do is in your mission and what you're going to do is you're going to draw a box around everything on the map. And when I say everything that means the modules, the triggers, the waypoints, the objects, markers, units, tanks, whatever. Everything. If there's nothing in the open space then you don't need, to, there's nothing to do there. You're just highlighting everything that's in your mission area, basically the AO, area of operation. That's all you're doing. So in this case, everything in my mission is right here. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna hold down your left mouse button and then you're gonna draw, you're just gonna pull away from it. What you'll see is if you move your mouse a little, you're gonna see a box starting to, starting to appear. So what this box is for it will enable you to highlight anything in a mission in mass which means a lot of objects or things so that you can edit them or move them or delete them or whatever whatever you want to do that you want to do in your mission so you're going to draw the box around everything in the mission and once you have the box around everything that you want to highlight you can basically just let go of the left mouse button so what that will do is again that will highlight everything and you'll see everything will light up that means it's highlighted so the next thing you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna hold down control and then press C on your keyboard and what that will do is that will copy everything that you see that everything that you highlighted onto your desktop or your computer's clipboard so from here I'm gonna port this mission to a new map so after you've done the control C you're gonna to go to new and we're gonna pick a new map we're just gonna pick Altus you're gonna start a new scenario and once you're on Altus you're gonna to go to the 2D map so press your map key next what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down control and then you're gonna press V and what that does is that will paste everything that you highlighted and copied previously on your other map to the existing map. Now as you can see everything just pasted. At this point everything's still highlighted so you can still move everything around to wherever you want. Now there's something I want to point out here. If you put your camera over here you just hit your middle mouse button that'll move the camera and hit your map key so now you're going to be in 3D view and what's going to happen is if you zoom in closer everything that you copied and pasted is going to be floating in the air alright so you're probably wondering well okay it's floating how do I fix this yeah obviously you could drag everything down or whatever you want but here's here's what I normally do. Just go back to your map. With everything highlighted, choose one of the objects or things in your mission. Could be a unit, doesn't matter. I'm just going to choose a uh, wreck. 
and what you're going to do is you're going to right click it and then you're going to go down to where it says transform and then go to where it says snap to surface click on that going back to the map the 3d part let's raise our camera up and you're going to see that all your objects everything in your mission has snapped down to the ground so this is important now some things might not have made it like these tents didn't make it not everything made it so that's okay 99% of it 99% of these things made it uh, snap to the surface so that's what you I mean when you're editing a mission these are the things you got to do anyways you got to check it all so it's not like you're just gonna snap and like oh the mission's ready to go and you know it's, you don't want to do that so so everything's here that's the first method there is a second part to this copy and paste method so we're gonna save this mission just hit save and since it's on Altis, we're gonna name this um, we could actually name it the same thing uh, it's this mission so I'm gonna copy this control C and then we're gonna go to Altis and then we're going to basically paste the name in there and then we're gonna save it and as you look at the top right the mission name is here alright so we're gonna go to my desktop and we're gonna go to the documents folder where this mission is saved at we're now on my desktop I have two folders open now this is very crucial if your mission or the mission that you're trying to port to a new map has any scripts or files or pictures or a description ext or an IN, INIT SQF or other files for that mission that make that mission function then you're gonna need to basically move those files or copy those files to the new mission folder here I have the folder open to Altus which I have all my missions in and the one that's highlighted is the mission that we created in the editor so I'm gonna open that up now as you could see there is only a mission SQM we're gonna open up my Kunda's mission here this is the new mission on the right this is the one that we ported to this to this map Altus Kunda's so what you're gonna do is just basically highlight everything here and just press control C to copy it and then go over to your new mission make sure the, the folder is highlighted and then press control V to paste and what it's asking here is says the destination already has a file named mission.sqm do we want to replace that file no we don't want to replace it because that's the new mission now that that's done your mission has now been ported to the new map in my mission here I'll zoom in to some things I'm gonna move the camera and I want to show you all these buildings and walls and so forth are assets or objects from the Kundas map itself so I have all these walls I have all these houses and all these things now let's say all what all that I wanted was just the modules the triggers the units the vehicles the markers etc everything except the mission assets that I have from Kundas it doesn't fit the terrain of Altus how you can eliminate them without having to delete each individual one if I delete one house I delete one house I mean look at all this shit look at all this stuff I'd have to do like oh I gotta get rid of this one and this one that's a lot of work I'm gonna show you a faster method on the way to do this I have the game loaded up without any mods so that means we're not I don't have Kundas Afghanistan or anything as you can see here it's all vanilla so we're gonna go to the editor we're gonna choose Altus and then we're gonna open up the mission that I ported which is on Altus you see the ISIL foothold and then we're gonna go to open all right so this is what I wanted to show you all these lines that are in red is from the Afghanistan map everything else is all vanilla armor 3 what we're gonna do is basically force load this mission and what that will do is 
it will load the mission without all these assets. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. All right, so we go to the map and we scroll down to where some of these objects were. And this was the one compound I was talking, talking about. So we go there and all you're gonna see is vanilla assets. So there's no houses. All these are all from Arm 3 itself, not the Kundans map. All right, so if we look on the left, you won't see any icons of Kundans in there because we eliminated the add-on dependency of that map. Once you have force loaded something and the map loaded like that, then you're gonna wanna save it. So you hit save and there's your new mission. Now you just gotta basically move the uh, different assets or things around on the map to where you want them and uh, you have your mission. I'm gonna show you the second method on how to port your mission or a mission to a new map or terrain. For this we're gonna go to my desktop. This is method two. We're going to take the same mission and we're gonna copy it. So highlight it first and then press Control C. Control V. I'm gonna to scroll to the top because it's up here. And here's the mission. The mission still says it has the mission's name and then it says dot Kundas because Kundas is the Afghanistan map. This mission will not load on Altus because it's set for Kundas. So here's what you do. Just rename the folder. You could just click it or re right click it and then change this to Altus. Altus. Make sure you spell it correctly and then click and here you go. The mission is ported. So if you open it up it has all the files, all the scripts, and everything in it. Now on ARM3 menu, we're gonna go to the editor and we're gonna go to Altus. We're gonna open up the mission, go to Altus, and at the top here, I deleted the other mission, by the way, that we ported, so we have a fresh new one. As you can see here, the mission is here. I have it in the list. We're gonna open it. Here's the problem. Just like before, the mission is using assets from the Kunduz Afghanistan map. So in order for this mission to work, we basically have to force load it. So force load it, hit close, and if we go to the 2D map, here's my mission. Now remember, the mission on Kunduz Afghanistan was at the bottom left corner of the map on Kunduz. You're gonna look at this and be like, well, how is this gonna work? Well, you just have to highlight all the objects and everything like you did before on the previous map. And this time, instead of control C or pasting or anything, you just move it to the rough area of where you wanna build your mission. So let's say, let's just put the mission right here. Just like I did before is choose an object, uh, right click it, and then go to where it says, down to where it says transform and then snap the surface and then go to your map make sure you're somewhere where the stuff is and basically everything that you ported over except for a few things that's a given will be on the ground yeah obviously some things need to be fixed but you're basically porting everything from an existing map to a new map. This concludes the tutorial. Before I go here, don't forget to save it so that you have your mission. I will catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.